Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Zundu if you are new here and today we're playing with some new makeup. Um, I kind of showed some of it in my haul video that I will link here if you haven't seen it. Um, but basically I've just got a ton of blushes, like we can't use all of them but we'll, we'll, I've got an idea of what I want to do because if we're going to base it off of eyeshadow, which is generally how I kind of do it. Um, I got the Tom Ford Quad in Sur Le Sable. I think that's how you say it. So it's just this really nice, cool toned, rosy palette. So I thought we could do a nice, simple look with that and then um, kind of base everything off of that. Uh, blushes, blushes, blushes. I've already decided um, I have the Rare Beauty one in Grateful, I think it's called, the really juicy red one. We're not using that today because it's not going to go well with this palette. Um, we're not going to use Bohemian Rose because it's not new, new to me, but we have these two. So I have one of the new ones. I'll probably end up using one of the new ones because I think it's going to go with it. This box is 100% biodegradable. How many years though? That's, that's the true question. Is it going to biodegrade in six months or six years? They don't ever say that, do they? Like if I put this into my compost, I guarantee you'd probably stay like that for a really long time. So this is the Nudies Matte and Glow Core in Rose Glow. I have swatched it. Let me get what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have, yeah, this center here, which is like clear, translucent. And then I think this will look nice. And I think it'd be nice to try that on the face today. Because the other one I have is the matte... Uh, nude sticks in bareback, which is it's, this one would also work, but it's just like a really nice neutral. So I haven't used that yet. I'm very excited to try that. And we're going to try the Revlon Color Stay Light Color Foundation. This one is new to me. I got the shade 150, and we've got a little sample primer of the milk that I want to try. And I didn't have a new concealer, but I do have a new concealer. I'm doing a full face of Astralis, which I haven't done yet, but I've got this concealer that I thought we could use today because a lot of people that view my full face of Australian makeup brands don't necessarily watch these videos. They're like searching Astralis cosmetics review and then I come up. So I don't think, I mean, it doesn't matter if I use it twice, does it? I mean, I guess it's a better review if I already know what it what is like, but this product has always existed. They've just revamped the packaging. So this is the Conceal and Contour and I have the shade Fair. So that's essentially, oh no, that's not everything that's new. I went to Kmart and I bought this. They only had one shade, which I think is the darker shade, so we'll tread lightly. But this is uh, the Bronze Balm from Kmart, the OXX Cosmetics brand, and I got the shade Fawn. They were pretty limited. My Kmart, I mean, I think everyone's Kmart are always pretty bare. Uh, so this was recommended initially by Katie's Cosmopolitan on Instagram and TikTok. I'll link her socials down below. She's great. She loves a Kmart haul. And then Tanika also tried it as well. So a few Aussie girls have been trying this. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Oh my God, it's really in there. Oh, then it's sticky taped inside as well. Like not sticky tape, that gloopy sticky stuff. Oh my God. Oh, that's not too bad. It's just kind of warm. Let's give it a swatch because I'm super curious. Oh, it's very, very soft. But it feels nice. That feels really nice. I actually really like this color. I don't know if this is the darker or the lighter shade. Maybe it's just not darker or lighter, but cooler and warmer tones. But I think that's really nice. I decided to not use a powder bronzer or a powder blush we're just going cream today which is a little controversial because we've got a mattifying primer and a mattifying foundation but we'll do our best okay let's start with the primer i'm only going to use a little bit in my t-zone i did just take off some makeup and then put re-put moisturizer on because uh, i was doing a tiktok which i will be putting on youtube <laughs> This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer from Milk. It's just a little sample. But I'm really curious to try it just kind of here. 
is where I want it. it. Smells like herbal, but like not necessarily in a good way. Feels nice. Some mattifying primers don't feel nice. This one feels okay. I can feel it kind of drying down. Good start. And then the Revlon Color Stay. Now this is the light cover, which is why I wanted it. So it's a natural finish with SPF 30, 12 hour wear, and I have a shade 150. 56% all day hydration. What does that mean? What does that mean? There's no fragrance or mineral oil, which is good. Okay, and it's a nice little slick, wheezy tube. Now, I used this just before, and it did go a little dry and patchy. I did use a sponge, so methinks I should maybe not use a sponge and use a brush. Because sometimes things that are like long wear have a bit of powder in them which just doesn't work well with a sponge, I have noticed. I feel, yeah, that's kind of, like I would never use a sponge for a mattifying foundation. It just goes weird, in my experience. That's already better using a brush. <coughs> smells weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do a little bit more, just a little bit. But I think it looks quite nice, second time round. I also have a fresh layer of moisturizer on that probably helped. Cause this doesn't look as dry as it looked before. So let's do a little bit of concealer and then I think I'll do the eyes. So yeah, here we have the Australis concealer in the shade Fair. I do find with brands that don't have a huge color range they do fare really light and then it's usually a big skip because I'm not fair, I'm more fair too light. Um, I've gotten a little bit darker through the years, which is normal. When I say dark, I mean like the tiniest bit. I used to be a traditional fair. Now I'm more like a fair to light. But if this blends in well, then it should be okay. We'll call it a brightening shade. Does it say what it is? Because it feels like a medium coverage. I'm going out for dinner tonight. I will be having a shower, so this won't be my makeup, but it might give me some inspiration. Uh, do I want more concealer? Maybe around my nose? Yeah, I'm going to a nice restaurant with my two besties. And it's in the city. And apparently it's really good. So one of my, my friend who organized it has been there and she said it's incredible. It's gonna be like an Asian fusion. And I'm so down for that. I think it's the brush that smells because it's still really pungent. It's, I don't know what the smell is. I can't describe it. It's not like dirty smell. It's like maybe whatever I cleaned it with smells like the soap. I don't know. It's all, I can't even describe the smell. It doesn't smell off or anything. I'm very excited. I haven't been out for dinner with my friends in a while. Oh, actually, no, I went out for my birthday. That's a total lie. But honestly, that was like three weeks ago, and that's a long time, guys. <laughs> I love going out for dinner with my friends. It's so much fun. Okay, let's do my eyes. It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll start with this shade here. I have one other Tom Ford quad, but it's all shimmers, so I actually have never used his matte formula before. It's very nice, very easy to blend. Drier formula, I'm okay with that. It's more like your classic um, eyeshadow formula, not like a Natasha Denona, that's a very modern formula in my opinion. Yeah, that was super easy. And I thought about the quads that I have and I do find them more warmer. So that's why I chose this pink one. I could have picked this or like a warm brownie neutral one. And I decided to go for this one. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade just for my outer corner, very classic Sammy look. So I wanted to discuss with you guys, my friend started seeing a 
acupuncturist for women's health. I'm not going to go into detail while she's going. But they, the place that she goes to specializes in women's health. And I was thinking about going. And the reason why, I've actually been to one when I was pregnant trying to induce labor. Didn't work. <laughs> I enjoyed the process because you just kind of like, it's very calming. But what I want to go for is, I feel like, and this is definitely circumstantial. I feel like I'm quite stressed all the time. I feel like I can't shake the feeling of being overwhelmed all the time and I just feel like my body I'm getting emotional I feel like my body is in survival mode all the time and I know that's what comes with being um, like a mother of small children I have a two-year-old and an almost five-year-old and I love them but at the same time I'm so exhausted all the time and I'm so stressed all the time because they literally need your attention from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep and then I have today off when I say today off it's my day to just do everything everything child free one day because then I go to work for the rest of the week and then it's back at home with the kids and it is my choice but I feel like my stress is just constant I just feel like I'm constantly trying to keep my head above water and I'm really trying to find ways to de-stress and calm myself down by not putting too much pressure on myself on these days off. But on these days off, I am tidying up, doing all the like things that I couldn't do on the days I was with the kids because it's just so overwhelming, like cleaning, washing, everything, food shopping. And then I try and do TikTok and YouTube and I try and rest at the same time. And I think I do manage it, but I never essentially, I ne essentially I never have a day off. Like I never have a day off. And yes, I'm physically at home with the kids, but it's not a day off to me. That is go, go, go for 13 hours. And I just think I, I can't do it on my own anymore in terms of managing my stress and it's like circumstantial I know and I keep reminding myself this is a chaotic period of your life I'm going to go in with this pink shade over the lid and then this matte um, light shade in the inner corner maybe I'll do that first actually the matte shade and so I'm thinking of seeing acupuncturist to help with my cortisol and the reason I'm bringing this up is because cortisol is related to weight gain around the tummy and I have PCOS I have insulin resistance but I honestly think I'm a stressy person I'm always has always have been um, I try not show it to the whole world but internally I feel stressed all the time I've been on this health journey and I just cannot lose weight and it's very frustrating and it's something I've dealt with my whole life I've never not I've never been skinny ever in my life so it's something that I've dealt with my whole life and I'm I'm used to it but it doesn't mean I don't get frustrated when I'm trying to I am I'm trying to be healthier it's not that I'm an unhealthy person I'm just trying to be more healthy in myself I want to feel more healthy I think I need to use a finger for this shimmer because it's not really doing anything. Like, I don't expect Tom Ford to be like, wow, wow, wow. But that is pretty forgettable. Back to the, um, the acupuncturist. My goal would be, I don't even know if they can do this. I'm talking to you guys to know if you, your experience, if you um, have seen an acupuncturist and what your experience was like. My friend has had a really positive experience, like really positive, which is what is pushing me to go. Um, she is just seeing wonderful results, um, physically, mentally, all of the above. So I'm kind of interested to see what it could do for me. And I don't expect anyone to perform miracles because at the end of the day, I am a mother, a working mother. And stress is a part of my life. I totally understand that. I just want to know 
if I can get to a place where I'm not stressed 100% of the time, you know? That's kind of my goal. I do have a powder. I got this at work in gratis. It was the tester, but I honestly don't care. It's the Shantakai Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. I have always wanted to try this. So it's barely been touched. So we're going to be using that. But first I want to use the Cream bra uh, Bronze in Fawn. I think I will use the brush that I used for everything else. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to be, so I'm literally just going to go like that. Yeah, I thought it might be a bit pigmented. I think the other girls picked the other shade. I think it was called Mink or something like that. But honestly, I really like this color. The only thing with this is, what's it going to be like with powder over the top? I don't know. Because it seems very emollient. But I like what it looks like. Buildable. Very natural very seamless that's just blending in like a dream i think i paid six dollars for this six dollars so me got a little bit emotional i try not to get too emotional on camera it's just not really the person that i am but sometimes life just catches you you know catches you and you just can't keep up I know you guys have all been there. I know this is a common issue. So it's not so much a complaint as a sharing situation. I always think to myself is like how chaotic it is right now with two small children. And in 10 years, I'm going to miss this. As crazy as that sounds, I know I'm going to miss this time so much, but it doesn't change the fact that it's so chaotic <laughs> and life is never easy no matter what stage in life you are in but I just hear so many people they say like when their children are adults how much they miss this age and like yes it's chaotic but it's also a beautiful time like I get so overwhelmed with my children needing me all the time but it's also so nice Sorry, I just need to take a second. I'm just in that place today. Um, it's also so nice and so beautiful that my children want to be with me all the time. Like my daughter gets upset when she has to go to school because she wants to be at home with me. And that is just the cutest thing in the whole wide world. But at the same time, I'm like, honey, mommy needs silence. I need silence for an hour, more than an hour, you know? And they both want to, they fight over holding my hand. Like, it's so cute. And just, they are the cutest little children to look at um, and be around. And it's just this constant mum guilt. And I know that a lot of you will understand that you constantly feel guilty for wanting time away from them. And then when you have time away from them, you just want to be around them. And it's just, you're never satisfied. <laughs> It's just, you're never satisfied. And it's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just, it's all or nothing. It's either too much or not enough. It's like dead silence when they're not around and then total chaos when they are. Sometimes I feel like I'm on top of the world and I'm, you know, smashing it and getting things done and conquering life. And then other times I feel like I'm just not. And right now I feel like I'm not. I'm going to, I never use black eyeliner, but I'm going to use it. This is the Too Faced Killer Kajal. It doesn't say a shade, but I think it's just the black one. The roll up one. I'm going to do very, very tight line. And then I'm going to get a little brush. This is the Morphe M508, like this, to like smudge it a little bit. Because when it's black, unless I'm doing like a full on wing, I don't like a harsh line. It's a little dry. I'm struggling to get it on my eye. Like my Urban Decay one, the gel liner, I've had it for literally years. It's still so creamy. This is dry. 
This is why I tend to stick to pencils. Because like roll-ups tend to just dry out. I mean, it's giving definition to my eye, but it's a little bit of work. Yeah, I don't love this. It even crumbled a little bit. Just a little bit here. So, I don't know about that. Uh, eyeshadow palette's pretty average too, but if I want a really average look, then at least I know what to go for. And um, <laughs> my uh, mascara is just in my everyday makeup drawer. It's the L'Oreal Pro XXL Volume. Yes, we want the white side first to prime. I don't usually do these kinds of things, but it does work. Like I do find that this really does volumize. I don't know if I've really gotten upset on camera before. I was not coming into this video thinking that was going to happen. I often don't film videos with an, in, uh, like an idea of what I'm talking about beforehand. I kind of just talk and whatever comes out comes out. So I had no uh, plans to get upset on camera, <laughs> that's for sure. I actually don't like doing it, that's just me personally. But sometimes you can't control it, especially when I talk about my kids. Good Lord. You want to make me cry? Talk about my kids. Before I had kids, nothing would make me cry. Like movies, news. I mean, there were a couple of things, but not much made me cry. As soon as I fell pregnant, ever since then till now, God, I could dry, cry at the drop of a hat. But it's more like when it's personal things. Oh no, I'll watch the news and cry. I'm so much more emotional than I used to be. All right, my blush. Mm, yes, then we'll do powder after because it's kind of like a blurring, it's a nice powder. All right, let's do the Nudies Matte and Glow in Rose Glow. I haven't used this yet. I think I'm gonna use a brush. We can always try, yeah, that's nice. I was gonna say I could drag it on the other side to see if that works too. That is pretty. Oh, that is nice. I already have two blushes just like this. I shouldn't have bought this color, but alas, I did. I have the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks in Mimi, the limited edition shade. Oh, that's probably my favorite. And then I also have the Australis in Girl Next Door, if you want a affordable version of this. It's that kind of rosy, neutral kind of shade. And that one's really glowy, kind of like this one as well. The Western Atelier is more of a matte formula. But I mean, this is a matte formula with the glow in the middle. Okay, I've just got this tiny little brush because I was thinking of just like targeting it. I was thinking of like targeting it here because it's a blur powder, but it's also glow. And I knew I was going to be using cream products, so I didn't want to like fluff my whole face. Am I seeing the difference? Knowing Shantika, it's going to be super natural anyway. It has mattified. It's like a gentle matte. I wouldn't call it a heavy matte. So maybe good if you have large pores or, or, or um, drier skin because it's blurring. It's nice. It is got a glow to it while still setting down. So I don't look like a disco ball, but it's still got like an ambient powder. Like it's still got a glow to it without it being, it's not glittery. I'll definitely play with that more, but I was very, like even the packaging, I was very grateful to get this. And then lippies, lippity lippities. That's last but not least. We have the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in my way. This is not new. And then the lip is not new, but it's newish. I just thought it would look nice with this look. It's the NYX Smooth Whip in Latte Foam, and they all smell like coffee. Like good coffee. It smells like a Starbucks coffee. Mmm, that smells delicious. And this is like a, a velvet matte. So it doesn't fully dry down, but it does dry down. Mmm, I love it. 
I don't know why I don't wear this all the time. It's so pretty. That's everything, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm not always laughing and me cracking stupid jokes all the time, believe it or not. I mean, most of the time I am, but not today. Today is not the day. Today I need to rest my mind. I'm going to take this makeup off, have a little rest, and then I'm going to go out for dinner. I'm very, very excited. It's going to make me feel so much better being around my friends. It always does make me feel better. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all so much. You all mean the world to me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.